Catch and Gutter Runners and welcome to this very special video where I have finally got the leader for my Skaven army. As you, as you guys know, the Skaven are by far my most favourite army in Warhammer. I absolutely love them. I am trying, uh, <laughs> I'm trying my best to collect every single one of them, you know, just like Pokemon, I want to catch them all, I want to have all the Skaven, I want to build them up, I want to have the mighty, mighty Under Empire army at my disposal. Or at my disposal <laughs> and so I finally got a leader for him I got the leader that they deserve tank will and bone ripper yeah I got the big guy so this was a, a kind of a Christmas gift I got a voucher for Christmas I added a little bit more to it and I finally used it I got this you know when I finally used it you know I thought I might have held on to it a bit longer but um yeah I want to get this guy unboxed I want to see what's on the sprue and then straight after this video there's going to be another one where I'm going to be building them so stay tuned for that so let's get this bad boy opened okay so let's see what is inside the box is pretty small it's pretty thin uh, which is a bit surprising um, what was this out does it have a year on it no, it doesn't say but it's a thin box which is I suppose it's nice instead of getting a big huge box taking up a lot of space that I don't have uh, we get the booklet. Holy shit, that is a booklet. Quite a few pages in there. Uh, here we have the rules. Sad memories of 8th edition. With weapon skill and movement and ballistic skill. Aww. Almost brings a tear to my eye looking at this. There's the rules and everything. But that was a cool, that was a brilliant edition back then. Um, having rules, like... When they start putting rules out with models, I know they don't do it with all of them now, but some of them do. Um, this was one of the first ones when they started doing that, so that was pretty awesome when this uh, first came out. Um, sad little memory of 8th edition. Long live the old world. <laughs> we have your base. I think this is a 100 by 60 mil. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm not certain in any way. Uh, two sprues. Let's have a look at the first one. Let me see. So let's get a closer look. There we go. Let's start up in this corner. So as you guys have seen, there's a few bits of hydraulics, a few hydraulic bits on this guy. It's on his left leg. So I imagine that piece is for that. Um. Actually, let's flip this over because everything seems to be... No, let's leave it at that. Um, so it looks like in the hydraulic piece for the leg. Here you have his cloth. Um, what, his toes? His foot isn't even complete. Now, this guy, he's a bit smaller than I thought he was going to be. There's his back. Uh, it's not huge, but... Man, I thought it was going to be way bigger. Uh, a few interesting bits up this way. A uh, bit more cloth. Um, more... Oh, this is the chain mail that goes on his neck. And, um, the tail is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Maybe I'll zoom in too close to this. That looks a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, the metal foot here, which is cool. Really, really like that. Uh, there's the other part of the head with the chain mail. And he has the horns coming out and everything. Parts of legs. There's a rock for the base. So this just kind of has a lot of body parts in it. Couple of small little mice which I'll talk about at the end. Um, I have plans for them. Other pieces really on this sprue are just kind of hydraulic pieces. Um, the iron parts for the his weapons. So many little mice. I can't wait to get these off and put them on their own bases. I'll get into that more later on. Here you have a main body part, the big part. The front of it with all the stitching and the stomach and everything. I, I, I'm a little bit weary because I thought this was going to be way bigger. I thought it was going to be huge. A huge big thing. Maybe it is once you have Tankwell on the top of them. But it's a bit small but it's there. It's cool. It looks really nice. Very detailed. What, was, what did I just spot back here? So I thought, let's see. This part you have like your kind of your steampunk controls for the back of them. Which, let me see. It's on the back of this box. Uh, there you go. 
Uh, where are others? I'm looking at the wrong, looking at the wrong uh, side of the box. So it has like all these like kind of steam controls and all that stuff and the warp zone running through them. Uh, nothing really too special on the sprue. There's a cool little, few little cool bits. Um, really not sure what's going to be leftovers on this. Um, but it's there. Here we have a few cogs, all these little kind of bits to all add on to them. Here we have one of the spikes with the smoke coming out of it. And let's move along up here. So this side pretty much uh, just has a lot of the kind of equipment on it, the metal parts for his back. Uh, what is the name of this? The bell fire things. Let's have a quick look at this book. Uh, what fire brazers and what fire projectors? So that is for the brazers. I'm pretty sure. And you have this part as well. Is that his fingers in there? No. Here we have a part of the face. Um, it's amazing how these get sculpted like this because that's just a part of a head. And there's the other two pieces. You know, it's weird that they're not one big lump. But um, that's how, whatever way to make it. Um, so many rats. Look how many rats we have here. We have a whole line of them. If anything, it's a bit overkill for a model just for basing them. But I'm going to take him out plans for him, definitely. Uh, let's see what's down here. Uh, that looks like pieces for Tanquil. Here we have the big main body for him. I really can't wait to get him up on it. Um, there's his, the part of his robe. Here we have, what is this piece? Oh, that's the front of Tanquil. I can see now that he's full. Uh, there's his staff, which looks super awesome, really big. Uh, more the weapons for the big guy and that's pretty much it it's kind of a hard model to look at from the sprue because everything is so scattered and uh, all over the place and um, it definitely looks like it's gonna take a while to put this guy together and follow the instructions Um, but yeah two big sprues full of bits I really don't know how many spare bits are gonna be left over apart from the little mice that's going to be uh, something I can only find out once I finished. So, um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. It's going to be a quick video. To be honest with you, there's not a whole lot more I can do in this. The pieces are hard to kind of... It's hard to pick out singular pieces because it's a complete mismatch here. Like, it's sync by themselves. They don't look impressive, but you know it's part of a bigger machine type of thing. Um, but if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and make sure to stay tuned because as, when this video gets uploaded it, it will either be straight away or it will be the day after. As soon as I can get it up, I will get it up. But uh, I'll be having a let's build with this. I'm going to try and get this guy built up tonight pretty quick. So then at the end of that video you'll get to see what he's like. We'll have a look at what parts are left over and everything. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys like this. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.